Hello everyone, my name is Margaret Lafayle from Educare Tanzania and today we are going to continue on where we end up on our last session that is subtopic um, aspect number five, human wants and their satisfaction. Generally, wants refers to the needs such as food, clothes, shelter and others. But in economics, when we are talking about wants, we are talking about all human desires, all things that must be satisfied by using certain needs, such as hunger, thirst, education, and health. So, when you economics, we are talking about wants, we are talking about the same things that we have to use to use it. For example, if someone has to use it, we are talking about wants. Kwa hiyo akitumia chakula chakula ni need. Mtu akiwa anahitaji akiwa ana kiu tunasema hiyo ni want. Akitumia chakula akitumia maji tunasema maji ni needs. So economic is concerned with satisfaction of, of human wants which are unlimited while resources are scarce. Now let's see the characteristics of human wants. Human wants are unlimited in number. That are wants are so many. All human wants cannot be satisfied because economic resources are limited in number such that economic resources such as land, capital and others are scarcity. Wants can be satisfied by alternative means. For example, when one gets thirst, he or she can be satisfied by using soft drinks such as soda and or juice. Also, wants are felt again and again. Kwa mfano mtu anaweza kasikia kiu sasa, lakini pia baadaye kutakuwa anasikia kiu, anasikia kiu, anasikia kiu. That's why we said wants are felt again and again. Also, wants are complemental. That means wants can be satisfied by using more or Two, I mean, two needs or more needs, such as mpano mtu wakitaka kuendesha gali, atatumia gali, lakini gali haliwezi likaenda bila mafuta. So that's why we say once are complementary. Number six, scarcity of resources. Scarcity means limited in supply or less than what is required. That is, for instance, um, to uh, let's say we have this land. So in this land, maybe we just want to use this land for cultivation. And also we can use this land for building. So you can see there is no way ya kuongeza hii alzi. Kwa tunasema kwamba it is limited in supply. Kwamba hatuwezi tukayongeza. So scarcity is something that is limited in supply. Ni kitu wambacho kipo kwa uchache. Um, in economic sense, all resources required to produce goods and provide services are not enough to produce so as to satisfy all human wants since they are unlimited. So scarcity is the main economic problems. That's why we say there will be no economic if there will be no scarcity. Now let's see the causes of scarcity. Now, the followings are the reasons for scarcity. There is scarcity because we have limited stock of resources, but also we have unlimited ones. And also resources have got alternative means. That's why we have the problem of scarcity. So now let's see 
how can we solve these scarcity problems basing on different economic systems? Now we have three types of economic systems which are social, socialist economic system, capitalist economic system and mixed economy. So under the socialist economy the problem of scarcity is solved through the central economic planning such that the government is the one who will allocate those scarce resources depending on the needs of people that's the society for the aim of promoting welfare of them by ensuring equitable distribution of scarce resources such that we said like we have the problems like how to produce, what to produce, for whom to produce, and so forth. So, in this type of economy, the government is the one which is going to decide on behalf of its citizens on how to produce, what type of good to produce, and all the problems that faces in the process of production to ensure that the welfare of people is meat okay and also in capitalist economy in capitalist economy here the problem of scarcity is solved through the market forces of demand and supply such that the scarce resources are used to produce goods and provide services that will minimize the cost and also we're going to maximize the profit now in this type of economy uh, the capitalist are the one who will decide on behalf of the customers on how to produce what type of goods to be produced by looking on which type of goods are most preferable or consumed by the by the customers such that we say they use market forces of demand and supply okay but also we have mixed the economy in mixed economy the problem of scarcity is solved through both the government and the keep capitalist by such that the government will going to allocate some of its resources to its citizen by using central planning and also the capitalist will going to allocate the other resources by using the market forces of demand and supply so as to minimize cost and maximize profit thank you very much for watching